Central today. Thanks so much, Chandler. Well, before we experience this potential round of severe storms, it is always good to be prepared. And there are some things that you can do at your home in case it gets damaged. The Morning Loop's Modern Jelly Lopez is now joining us this morning with some important advice. So, Mara, where do we start? Dana, if there's one thing that we know from living in Texas is that weather can certainly be unpredictable. So if you don't know exactly what your insurance covers yet, then make sure you check on that. And we all know the effects that the severe weather season has already had on East Texans. Like for instance, this random hailstorm in Canton that destroyed a family's windows and roof. A month later, they're still boarded up waiting on their insurance to approve window replacements. So to ensure that this situation um, doesn't happen to you, there are a couple things that State Farm Representative Chris Pilsick says to do. For your windows, you may want to close the shutters or attach protective panels with tightly secured screws and bolts. Keep your cars in a garage or undercover um, to minimize damage. Place garbage cans, patio furniture, grills, and other potentially windborne items inside your home or garage. You don't want those items flying around outside. And this next tip from insurance agent Pilsix is so important and something that most of us don't really think about until it's too late. As easy as using your smartphone to document all the contents of your home. So if something happens and you were to lose your home uh, and all of its contents, you have uh, documentation of that and it's easier to remember. It's really easy to remember the big things, uh, a little harder to remember what's in that random drawer in the kitchen or the pairs of jeans in your closet or, or number of pairs of shoes, right? So taking pictures and video of the contents of your home is really important when we have severe weather threats. I honestly couldn't tell you everything that I own inside my apartment here, um, but it's a good idea to do those things and keep those documented in case something really terrible happens to your home. So what happens when we do have severe weather that knocks out power for days? Well, it's important to stock up on emergency supplies and coming up in the next hour of the morning loop, I'll share um, how you can save some money when buying generators and batteries. Dana. Thanks, Mara.